everyone welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here hi I'm Maggie um, today I'm going to be doing a first impression of a palette and I don't really do first impression videos but when I was researching if I wanted to buy this palette I could not find a lot of reviews out there on YouTube on websites so I figured I'm just gonna share mine when I get this palette um, so I'm going to have everything linked down below but let's just go ahead and dive in um, so this is a palette that I stumbled across uh, from Instagram actually I was just going through the hashtag indie makeup and came across this and I couldn't get it out of my head so I had to buy it um, this is from a brand called ZC I believe is how it's pronounced from my understanding it's a Chinese brand if you know anything more about them please let me know uh, but this is the ZC palette um, they have a bunch on their website but this is one of the Alice in Wonderland collab inspiration type palettes so it actually looks like it's in collaboration with the British Museum which like is amazing the level of detail on the cardboard packaging alone is amazing um, before we open this up I did purchase this off of Amazon actually I'm gonna have it linked down below for the actual like website of the brand as well as the Amazon link um, on the brand's website it was $35 plus shipping and handling and then I have Amazon Prime so I just went that route it was $35.99 so I went the Amazon route because I'm in the United States I figured I'd get it faster if I need to return it if there's a problem I just felt a little bit more comfortable so I'll have both those links down below so this is it in the cardboard packaging. Um, so this is the Alice in Wonderland Flamingo palette. There's also two other palettes um, with the Alice in Wonderland collection. There's like a red themed one and a blue, but this is kind of more of the neutral pinky type one. So this is the palette. There is a um, plastic covering. So ooh, super satisfying. <laughs> we'll pull that off. Um, the level of detail, I'm not kidding, so I'm just going to like let you see this. There is so much going on with this packaging, but it is so beautiful. So we have the checkerboard pattern like with the chessboard um, from Alice in Wonderland cartoon. There's like filigree in the corner. The gold that is used for the clock here is beautiful. We've got Alice with the flamingo in the center here. And what's really cool is there's like glitter inside of it that moves around when you move the palette in different directions. I mean, come on. That is so pretty. I'm just like, ugh. I love that. When I opened it up, I did open it just to make sure nothing was broken in here, but I was just like staring at it. So I think that is so cool. Um, it is kind of like a plasticky packaging. Um, I do have the Anastasia Sultry palette here just as a comparison. Um, so as far as the like length of the palette, the Anastasia one is actually just a slight bit longer. Um, I would say the, the like width of the palettes are about the same or depths. Um, so they're pretty similar. I mean across the board so if you're looking at like sizing wise so anyway let's just go ahead and open this up shall we so on the inside there is a protective sleeve that just fell out and this is what it looks like so you have a mirror it does still have a sticker on it there are eight eyeshadows and what I'm taking in as like two blushes I'm sure you, I mean it's a colored powder you could use it really anywhere um, and it does come with a du uh, double-sided brush here which let's take a look a little look at that it's pretty soft um one side's more of like a flat like c brush and the other one's a little bit more pointed um but they're both pretty pretty lightweight like they're not too dense so what i'd like to do is swatch them all and then i'd also like to put them on my eyes i don't have any eye makeup on i just have um, my face makeup on so i thought that would be kind of fun um so yeah let's just go ahead and start swatching i'm going to do the eyeshadows first so I'm going to do the um, top four here and then we'll do the bottom four. So the first one is this like white kind of shimmery shade. That's it right there. So it kind of has like maybe an iridescence to it. It's pretty thin. Let's get a swatch there. So that's it right there. It definitely, as I look at it with my eyes, I can see kind of like the pink purple sparkles in there 
but I wouldn't say it's chunky glitter. Like that's a shimmer eyeshadow, not glitter. Okay, let's go into the next one. It's like a peachy shimmer. So I should probably hold you up. It's the second one here. So let's see how that is. A little bit lighter. So I'm gonna just grab another swatch here. It's right above it. It's a pretty sheer shimmer, which maybe is okay. I think like if you had a wet brush or like a base to put it on, it probably would show up a little bit more. Okay, let's look at these two darker. So there's like kind of a brown and like a magenta purpley type shade. They're all really soft though. I mean, I'm not having to push hard. So there's those. So this is kind of that more brown type one and that was that magenta. So I would say that these swatches are a lot lighter than what shows up in the pan as comparison here. So that was the first row. Okay, so we did a swatch of the top four. Let's move on to the bottom four, which the bottom four have imprints of the different suits on a card deck. Like here's the diamonds and the clubs, and that's the heart and the spade. Again, the tension and detail is just amazing. So looks like we have a matte, a shimmer, a matte, a shimmer. So let's see how those swatch out. Mm. So that is that first matte there. That was really easy to swatch. Let's grab this kind of golden bronze shimmer. There's that. Okay, so then we have a matte brown, like a medium brown. I wouldn't call it a dark brown. There that is. And then we have a deeper purple. So overall, really impressed with that second group there, especially the mats. They were really soft. Um, so I'm impressed. And let's look at these blushes. So um, there's two of them. The first one has Alice in it and the other one has a flamingo. They both have two colors in it. So this one's a little bit more peachy and this one's a little bit more like a pinky berry. Um, so I am going to swatch them individually, but then also together so you can see what it would look like if you tried to just focus your brush on one or the other. So that's the lighter shade, the darker, and then that's it together from the Alice side here. So that is the pink alone, that's the purple alone, and that's a mix together, which I realize looks pretty similar, but these are the two then. Well, let's just go ahead and put this on my face, shall we? Like, I'm, I'm ready for it. I am going to peel off this sticker on the mirror so that I can do my makeup. So satisfying. Which the mirror is like very nice, very big, um, good quality. It's not like warped or anything, so very exciting. Let's go ahead and start. Like I said, I have primer on my eyelids and then I set down my primer just with my face powder. Okay, so in my crease, I'm gonna grab a little bit of this pink first, this matte pink. say that had amazing color payoff. I'm really happy with that. I mean, I did only had to tap in twice, which I think is totally cool. So I'm just going to blend this in a little bit. It's a very pigmented, but I like that, you know, for sure. When I use this, like, I don't know, pink sparkly shade. So I'm going to lay that down first and then we'll see what it looks like. I really like that it's not so like dark of a pink it's like a very pretty medium pink I don't know if that even makes sense but I love that and then I'm gonna use I think I want to use this like 
peachier shade on my lid. So let's grab that. I'm just gonna use the other side of this flat brush here. I am having to dig a little bit more into this one to get pigment, but it's because it's a pretty sheer shade, which I like and I know is definitely more of an Asian eye makeup trend to have more of a wash of color instead of super, super pigmented shade. So I haven't like tried a ton of Asian eyeshadow palettes, but I'm not surprised by that, especially after watching and seeing the few kind of swatching videos I did see. So that is that, I'm not really sure if you can tell, um, but it definitely added a little something in that um, first half of my lid kind of do that <laughs> so what I think I'm gonna do next is add I would like to add that first kind of like shimmery white shade to my inner corner the different brush that. Like that so it just adds a little you know pop um, I don't really have like a liner shade in here necessarily so I think I'm gonna skip that and I'm gonna add my mascara. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. It's just the mascara I'm using right now. I've been special. Okay, so overall, I'm really impressed. I love how my eye look came out. Of course, I just did one, so I'm gonna need to do more, but I'm really pleased with that. I'm gonna pop on my glasses again, um, just so we can kind of see what it looks like if you do wear glasses and how it comes through. I mean, glasses always kind of tone down a look, um, but I think even, you know, without them, if you want to try pinks, I think this is really nice because this is definitely like a pink eyeshadow look, but I don't feel like it's too much. Like I don't feel like I look sickly. I don't feel like it looks like I have pink eye or something crazy like that. I'm definitely impressed so far. Um, I love this packaging. I could stare at it all day with that glitter moving around in there. But I think the quality is really nice. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. I did see some swatches um, on photo and a few like videos of swatches and then they looked nice enough. So I'm really impressed. I am going to insert just one last um, look at these swatches of all the shades on my arm here so that if you want to kind of see them again. But so far, I really like it. I will probably do an update video, um, you know, how it's going, different kinds of looks and all that. Um, give me like another month or so and we'll probably do something like that. Uh, but I'm super happy that I purchased this. I think it is well worth the price, the quality of the packaging, the level of detail, um, and also just the sizes of the pans is really nice that it comes with a huge mirror like everything that's included in here is in my opinion a steal for $35 like yes I wish all eyeshadow palettes I mean looking at like Anastasia these are like pushing 50 so this is awesome um and I definitely would be interested in trying I really wanted to get one of their Egyptian palettes but I figured let me just get the first one here at the Alice in Wonderland, try it out. Um, so maybe I'll get the Egyptian one maybe later in the year at some point, but I definitely am impressed and would recommend it. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I'm, I'm hooked and I hope you guys consider giving this palette a try. If you do, let me know down below um, what your experience is and if you enjoy it or if you have a fun color combination, I would love to hear about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.